Welcome back to UK Gaming Network, I'm Zoidberg and this is our top 5 games from December 2015. Normally a quiet month for games, the last 31 days has seen a bumper selection of new titles. We've had three highly anticipated AAA releases, some quality indie games and even a long forgotten SNES game that finally got its UK release after 20 years. While our number one game was never in doubt, we could have filled the other four spaces with different games and still been happy with our countdown, the quality has been that high. Only brand new games that were released in the calendar month of December were considered for this top 5. Titles released earlier in the year on other systems, HD remakes and early access titles were not. Number five. Comparing Rainbow Six Siege to other online shooters, is like comparing paintball to laser tag. Both are enjoyable, but because paintball tends to hurt, you find yourself actually trying to avoid getting shot. Whereas in laser tag, it doesn't really matter. If you get shot, you carry on regardless. That's true here. Death is permanent in Rainbow Six, for the rest of the current round at least, meaning that you actually have to play with an air of self-preservation. Too many online games are made with the belief that more players makes for a better game but by dialing things right back to 5 vs 5 matches, Ubisoft have ended up making the best online shooter of the year. A single match here can be more, a much more tense and tactical affair than an hour's worth of Call of Duty. The game it most closely echoes is Counter-Strike, where the teams must work together for success, which puts pay to any gung-ho tactics. We all know that we shouldn't form opinions about games before we play them, but Rainbow Six Siege has turned out to be a far better game than we ever expected. The worst thing about Fast Racing Neo is its title, but seeing as it's a literal one we won't grumble too much. This challenging futuristic racer follows in the footsteps of Wipeout and F-Zero by offering blistering speed and gorgeous visuals. It maintains a solid frame rate at all times, even during the four player split screen which is a fantastic inclusion in itself, and something that many games overlook. It's credit to the developers that the circuits are never confusing at the high velocity you're travelling, allowing you to concentrate on keeping ahead of your opponents and maximising your boost. There's a slight puzzle element to each race, as you can change the colour of your engines to match the boost zones on track, giving yourself a little bit extra speed. Working out exactly when to switch colour can mean the difference between winning and coming in third or fourth. With 16 tracks to master, 10 uniquely handling, handling ships to race, and a good selection of play modes, there's enough content here to warrant a full price release. You have to keep pinching yourself to re remember that it was only £11. Number three. Use your surroundings to pull up fantastic trick shots. On the whole, it's been a disappointing 2015 for the 3DS, with the eShop offering up the most enjoyable games of the year. And there's an argument for SteamWorld Heist being the best of the lot. Turn-based strategy games have always been a nice fit for handheld consoles, and this one requires both cunning tactics and skill, thanks to the need to manually aim your shots. Bullets ricochet off most surfaces, and pulling off a particularly complex trick shot never fails to bring a smile to your face. As the levels are procedurally generated, you'll never play the same one twice, meaning that replaying a mission is much less annoying than we're used to. It also forces you to think on your feet at all times. With the same charming visual style and humour that made SteamWorld Dig so appealing, this has the potential to be a game that you'll return to for years. Number two. This latest entry in the long-running Xenogears series once again shows that the Wii U is more than a match for the PS4 and Xbox One when it comes to creating games with spectacular visuals. The story unfolds on a planet full of beautiful scenery and spectacular vistas. Wanting to know what sites the next area holds helps to drive you through the game. It's all populated with some truly awe-inspiring creatures too, not all of them hostile. You'll spend most of the early stages rotating your camera just to try and get a better look at their majesty. 
A lot of role-playing games these days make concessions in an attempt to appeal to a wider audience. Xenoblade Chronicles X is not one of these titles. The combat is deep and complex and most of the systems can get confusing, but for fans it's worth it. This is a hardcore Japanese RPG made for fans of hardcore Japanese RPGs. If that's your thing, it's also a brilliant one. Number one. It's been in early access for most of the year, but Codemaster's excellent racing game finally received its full release this month, hence its inclusion here. If you've been disappointed with the direction the Dirt series has taken, you'll be pleased to know that this is much more like the Colin McRae rally games of old. There's a fantastically in-depth career mode, easing you in with slower cars from the 1960s, right through to today's much more sophisticated machines. Whatever car you race, it's a thrilling, challenging ride, as you rely on the co-driver's pace nose to, to succeed. None of the player aids that racing game fans have got used to in recent years are present either. There's no racing line or rewind option for example, and the game is all the better for it. In fact, every time you mess up, you're punished either in terms of a time penalty or in a reduction to the winner's purse. It is, quite simply, the best game that Codemasters have made for years, and easily the best racing game of 2015. This has been UK Gaming Network's top 5 games from December. Feel free to disagree with our choices and comment below. We'll be back soon with the first part of our top 20 games from 2015. Will your favourite make our list? Come back tomorrow and see. Thanks for watching.